you know how much I love trying free patterns for you. This time I found the perfect skirt pattern that you should have in your wardrobe and it's the juniper skirt from Mood Fabrics. The pattern is quite easy to put together and the design is so cute with the flap. In this pattern, you have four pieces, the front and back skirt, the front underskirt, and the waistband. I prepared the front and back skirt, the front underskirt, and the waistband on the main fabric. For the waistband, you need two pieces. If you have a tartan fabric like mine, make sure to align the design shapes when you prepare the second piece of your waistband. Then I cut the second waistband longer than the first one because I would like to add buttons to cover the zip. After that, I prepare the front and back skirt and the front on the skirt on the lining fabric. Once all the fabric pieces are ready, I trace the dots on the pattern like this. Then I place all the marks mentioned on the pattern onto the main fabric and the lining. As all the pattern pieces are ready on the main and lining fabric, we can start the process. First, I will add the dots to each skirt panel, including the front underskirt. To make sure you don't make a mistake, we have two in front, two in back, and one on the front underskirt panel. I pin the dark lines carefully and while pinning, I check that both lines are aligned. Then I sew the dark lines. I repeat this process on the lining fabric as well. After I finished sewing all the dots, I pressed the seams with my tailor's ham. When you have two dots, press them towards the center. Then I take the front underskirt, place it the right way up and put the lining underskirt on top, right sides together. I pin the curved edges and sew along here. After sewing, I clip the seam allowance along the curve like that. Then I open the seam allowance and iron it to make it easier. Now I can turn it right side out and press. Here I place the underskirt between the front and back panels of the skirt right sides together. I pin the side where I have the three layers of the front and back panels and the underskirt. Make sure the underskirt lining is placed towards the front panel of the skirt. Then I sew along the edge. Now take the two waistband pieces, place the shorter edges right sides together and align the design. I pin one side and then sew. After, I open the seams and iron. Here, as you can see, I place the skirt panels right sides down and put the waistband on top with the right sides together. I make sure to place the center seam along the side seam of the skirt. I pin along the top edge of the skirt and sew. Once that's done, I fold the seam allowances up towards the waistband and press. Now I'm going to sew the invisible zip along the open side of the skirt. For that, I need to find the middle of the waistband. 
So I fold the waistband in half like this and place a pin to mark the middle. The zip will start from halfway down the waistband. To place the zip and pin it, I always plan and visualize how the zip will be and then I open the zip and pin one side. First, I carefully sew the pin side and then I pin the other side precisely by aligning the seams and sew. Next, I close the zip to see the result. And I realize that with the white invisible zip, it looks good. So I don't want to hide the zip with buttons and that's why I cut the longer edge of the waistband. I turn the skirt inside out and pin the end of the zip. I will sew the end with a normal zipper foot to secure it. Then I can pin and sew down the rest of the side. Now I will assemble the front and back skirt lining. First, I check which side my zip is. It helps me to know which side I will sew completely on the lining and which side I will sew until the zipper mark. I place the front and back lining right sides together and pin one side. After pinning, I turn it the right way around to double check if it's the right side that I will sew completely. As you can see, it is the right side. Now I can pin the other side until the zipper mark and sew the sides. As always, after sewing, I iron the seams open. Let's move on to the hem part. I iron the bottom of the skirt 2 cm from the edge. Then I fold back 1 cm from the edge and iron. The raw edges are aligned with the crease. Next, I turn the skirt inside out and the lining the right way round. The zip and the open side should be on the same side of the skirt. I slide the skirt inside the lining like this. Make sure the seams are aligned and put the bottom lining edge inside the folded edge of the skirt. I pin all around and sew by hand with invisible stitches. Once that's done, I pin the open side to the zip as shown here. I only pin the seam allowances. Then I do an invisible stitch by hand. Make sure to not pin or sew the skirt layer. For the next part, I fold the shorter edges of the waistband by 1 cm and iron. Then I fold the upper part by 1 cm and iron. After that, I fold the waistband in half and pin all around. When it's pinned and secured, I sew by hand with invisible stitches.
If you want, you can top stitch by the waistband seams, it's up to you. Thank you for watching this Juniper skirt tutorial. Leave a comment to let me know what you think and make sure to send me your designs on Instagram. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support me. I'll see you next Monday with a new tutorial. Bye bye! I don't